Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about a brand new, very popular palette from ColourPop. It's this little beauty right here, it's the Yes Please palette. I am wearing these shadows on my eyes today, so if you want to see how I got my eye look, just stick around to the end of the video and I'll do a quick little tutorial all about how I used this palette on my eyes today. First, let's do a little product info, and then I will also do finger and brush swatches of all 12 shades in this palette. According to ColourPop's Instagram, this is a limited edition palette. However, it's sold out in like two or three minutes of going live on their site. So they did recently do a second restock. That's when I was able to grab this one. I missed it the first time around. I'm not sure if they'll restock it again or not. It is still showing up on their website, but it says out of stock. Typically when a limited edition item is still showing up on the website, but just says out of stock, that signifies to me that they probably are gonna restock it at least one more time. There is a lot of demand for this. Their Instagram is just going crazy with people saying, please restock, please restock. So I have a feeling that this will come back at least one more time. Don't hold me to that. That's just my guess. This palette retails for $16. Like I said, this palette contains 12 eyeshadow shades, eight are mattes, and four are shimmers. The pans in here are quite a bit smaller than a standard eyeshadow pan. However, for the price, I do think this is a very reasonable amount of product. The packaging is a nice kind of heavy duty cardboard. It's gray with yellow lettering. And of course, it has little magnetic closure. There is no mirror inside and it doesn't come with a brush or applicator of any kind. Each shade does have a name and they're not printed inside on the palette next to each shade. However, they are on a sticker on the back of the palette. They're also on the back of the cardboard carton that it comes in, but I do like that this is actually a sticker on the back of the palette and not a card that you have to keep track of. This is a lot more convenient in my opinion. Now I'm gonna jump into the swatches. I'm gonna start on the top row and go top, middle, bottom, four shades at a time. I'm gonna do a finger swatch and a brush swatch. As always for my brush swatches, I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. little flat eyeshadow brush and I'll clean off in between each swatch with my Vera Mona color switch. All of the swatches are gonna be done just on my bare skin, no primer, no foundation or anything like that. And the finger swatches will be on top and the brush swatches will be directly below. This is the first row in the palette. This cream matte shade is called Full Zip. Next, we have a bright orange matte called Big Cocktails. Next is this kind of melon peachy pink also a matte called Champs. And lastly is a really beautiful shimmery red called Bling. This is the middle row in the palette and first we have my absolute favorite shade. This is called Louie and it is a really, really intense orange, almost like orange to gold duochrome. So, so pretty. Next is a bright yellow gold called Butter Cake. Here we have Spoiled, it's a matte red. And lastly, this burnt orange shade, also a matte, it's called Gno. Here's the very last row in the palette. This really incredible bright yellow matte shade is called Mischief. Next we have a medium warm brown, this one's called Note to Self. Here's the last shimmer in the palette. It's a super shimmery bright yellow, it's called Chauffeur. And look at this matte dark brown. I mean, the pigmentation on this one is insane. This one's called French Kiss. I'm so impressed. I mean, look at the brush swatch. Overall, I have to say I'm really impressed with this palette. From the shade selection to the pigmentation, I think that this is an amazing deal, an amazing palette from ColourPop. I really wish that they would make this permanent. I hope that they come out with more of these palettes and they do decide to make them permanent to their line because I think that people would really love these and get a lot of use out of them. As far as the shade selection goes, I actually like that they chose to balance out the really bright shades here with a few more kind of wearable shades. And I think that the fact that there are so many mattes in this palette 
also makes it really wearable. The only, only thing that I would wish that they would change or add to this palette, I wish that there was a light, really shimmery shade because I love one of those for either my inner corner brow bone highlight or even to kind of improvise as a face highlight. So I am missing that from this palette. I really do hope that they're gonna try to restock this because I highly recommend this palette. I think even if you're somebody that kind of shies away from brighter colors, this is a great way to kind of experiment without spending too much money, getting still a really high quality product and it does have that kind of safety net of some neutral colors, some mattes to kind of help you ease into, you know, a bright orange duochrome or a super hot yellow. This shade range is really gonna take me through summer and into fall looks. So I know I'm gonna be reaching for this a lot and I'm really gonna enjoy playing with this more. So now let's get into the eye look. I'm starting off by priming my lids with my all-time favorite eye base. It's the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. If you've seen any of my other videos, you've heard me say that a million times. Then I'm just going to set that primer with the lightest matte shade in the palette. This one's called Full Zip. And next I'm moving on to my transition shade. I'm going to mix these two shades called Big Cocktails and GNO. And I'm building that up really slowly because these shades are super pigmented. So I'm just going to add a little bit at a time and keep blending that mostly into my outer crease, a little bit on the outer part of my lid, just slowly building and blending because that orange is really popping. Then I'm going to go with this shade called Champs and kind of soften the edges of that transition shade just a little bit in the upper crease. And I'm adding note to self. I am going to add that into the crease as well, but I'm focusing this more on the lid. That way that orange shade can show in the upper part of the crease and note to self will be more on the lid. Now I'm going to take a clean duo fiber brush. This doesn't have any product on it. I'm just using that to help blend all these shades together. That way we're starting with a really smooth base before I add any more shades onto my lid. I'm bouncing around a little bit. I'm going to add note to self to my lower lash line and I'm really just kind of stamping that product along the outer half or two-thirds of my lower lash line. And next I'm going to do my lid color. This is the shade Louie. It is incredible and I do think that the shimmers apply best with the finger but seriously look look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now that I've regained my self-control, I'm going to add a little bit of depth to the outer corner using a combination of Note to Self and French Kiss. Again, just kind of stamping that on and then blending it with my finger so that it'll look seamless. And I'm going back to the lower lash line. Now I'm using the shade Champs to kind of blend out Note to Self down there and give it a little bit of a softer look. Now it's time for the inner corner highlight. I'm using my favorite face highlight from ColourPop. This is Flexitarian. I just put a little bit on my pinky finger and then I went back with a small detailed brush just to blend that highlight in more seamlessly with the rest of my eyeshadow. Then I curled my lashes and I added a little bit of L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's a perfect balance between fun and bright and yet still wearable. That's it for today's video. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts on this palette. Did you pick it up? Are you hoping for a restock? Please leave a comment and let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I just stripped Starbucks all over my phone. my brush where is my little brush brush brushy brush where is my brush no that's not it this one is it that's a weird song ah! Ooh, so many makeup wipes One time anybody ever texts me is when I'm filming. It's <clears throat>
don't think that they even make this one anymore. Why they gotta discontinue stuff? Oh, that's right, because they make a thousand new products a year. <laughs> Look, I'm not mad at it, but. Do you think that I should do, I should try to use that yellow in a tutorial. I don't like to keep using limited edition stuff though, cause then you guys can't go and like buy it and recreate it. I don't know. Why do they put a different name on the front of this? Like why does it say cute AF if it's a yes please palette? You're just trying, you're trying to confuse us now. I see you Colourpop. Don't ask me, I just work here. Uh, I need more coffee. <laughs> it's like four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm like, I need to caffeinate. Uh, yes please. I'm gonna stop now. Oh.